What's up guys, welcome back to the Educated Barfly. Today we're gonna to be making an aviation cocktail, but before we do that, you're gonna do me a favor. You're gonna go hit like, hit subscribe if you haven't already subscribed, and then hit the bell icon to make the, uh, the gods of YouTube happy for us, and then we'll make you happy with a cocktail. The aviation was created by a bartender named Hugo Enslin at the Hotel Wallach in New York City or in the early 20th century. We don't have an exact date on that, but what we do know about the aviation other than that, it's kind of a polarizing drink that not everybody loves. I love it, and I think you should love it. But, uh, you know, the violette in it is a little polarizing, is that it was a bartender's handshake. So if you were traveling the globe and you went to Paris or England uh, or here in the States and you asked for a aviation, well, actually not here in the States because that would have been prohibition. Prohibition was going around. So if you were traveling the globe anyway, and you asked for an aviation at a bar, uh, you would uh, be considered kind of in the know, like in the cocktail vogue, because you knew what it was. It was uh, something that only like the cocktailians, as Gaz Regan used to call them, uh, would be into. Uh, it was first uh, published in 1916 uh, in Hugo Enslin's books, uh, book, Recipes for Mixed Drinks. All right, let's get into making the cocktail. So first thing we're gonna do is three quarters an ounce of lemon juice up in the tin. Then we're gonna do three eighths of an ounce of creme de violette. You can use any violette that you want. We are using uh, Rothman and Winter today, but feel free to use whatever you like as far as violette. And then uh, we're gonna do three quarters, we're gonna do three eighths of an ounce of maraschino liqueur, we're using Luxardo. Again, you can use whichever you like. Marasca makes a pretty good one. Ah, whoa, almost spilled the cocktail everywhere, but saved it. Then we're gonna do two ounces of gin. We're using the London dry style of gin. If you wanna use Plymouth, by golly, use Plymouth. All right, then we're gonna add it all to our shaker and give it a nice shake. Right, and then we're just going to double strain it into our glass. Now, there are a couple garnishes that you can do with this. You can do a lemon twist and discard, or you can do a, the traditional would be a cherry at the bottom of the thing. I'm actually gonna go garnish list today. It's so much lighter than I remember. Yeah, well, it's a different violette. We used a yeah. different violette. So the violette is gonna change. Like, so for instance, uh, Tempest Fugit makes a violette and they use real violet flowers and it turns out red looking, like red in color. So that aviation would be different. So let's take a sip. You're gonna have to like the violet flavor and the maraschino to really love this cocktail. And maraschino is something that not a lot of people like, even though it's a cherry liqueur, it's very, very dry on the finish. And the violette has a very, you guys are gonna laugh at me when I say flowery kind of taste to it, but it's a very floral in character, of course. The lemon provides the tartness. The only sugar you get are from these two liqueurs. And with three eighths of an ounce each, and with the dryness of the maraschino, what you're gonna get is a very dry cocktail and very tart. It's not gonna be very sweet. Um, it's balanced in its own way, but I gotta say that the lemon juice is very prominent in there. And then you have the botanicals of the gin. The botanicals of the gin, the, I said it like the botanicals. The botanicals of the gin play very nicely with the violette. Um, so, that is like a kind of a match made in heaven, I would say. It's a very nice purple color. I really like that. Um, yeah, sometimes you will see like if you use different amounts of, I think also I have redone my specs as well. The last time that I did the aviation, I think that I did, um, I think that I did more violette. And now I have rejiggered the recipe to my taste. I think that the three eighths, three eighths, three quarter though is, is actually, closer to the original. But uh, 
this is the version that I like to put forth because I think this is the best version. So there it is, my friends. Oh, I like that. It's good. There it is, the aviation cocktail. If you like our channel, please hit like and subscribe and check us out on Patreon, patreon.com slash the educated barfly. And you should go to Patreon because we have lots of good uh, exclusive videos that we've been doing on Patreon for quite a while now. And we have a large library of stuff that just hasn't come to YouTube at all. And it, it may never come to YouTube. So you should check it out. I don't know. We're going to be rejiggering Patreon again, uh, trying to figure out uh, how best to serve our audience there. But you should definitely check it out. And then also check out our apron sponsor, Staggerly Goods. They make me look so sharp in these aprons and we have a discount code for 20% off at checkout. So staggerlygoods.com and then barfly slg20 at checkout. I will see you guys on another time.